This is my Korg DSS-1 that I purchased from a charity auction. I was really excited about the sound quality and the sound architecture of the synth, stuff that I'd read about and heard online. When I received the synthesizer, it was, it was very dirty and very rough. It had bumper stickers on the front panel that left a lot of residue that was hard to remove. There were marks on the plastic cover around the joystick that looked like burns, maybe cigarette burns. Speaking of the joystick, it was missing. There was just a hole there with a hairball inside the hole. The bottom key on the keyboard was broken. It was wiggly and it wouldn't play. Uh, the, key, the rest of the keys were so clacky that it was impractical to play the keyboard. The floppy drive didn't work. There was an ant sandwiched inside the display. The keys were grimy with some something gross on them. And there was no power cord. But I did find a power cord online and then was able to power up the synth and make it make a sound. So I knew it was worth investing in cleaning it up. I took the entire keyboard apart, including all of the keys and the keyboard and all the parts that connect to the top cover. It wasn't too difficult, but I took a photo after every part that I removed and every cable that I unplugged so that I'll have a record when I put the synth back together. I also put all the screws into labeled sandwich bags to keep track of them. Um, here's some of the things I did. After I took all of the electronic parts out of the front panel, I gave it a bath. I scrubbed it down with uh, soap and water, dish soap and a scrub brush. I scrubbed the plastic in cheeks and those panels too. I completely disassembled the keyboards and cleaned all the keys again with the scrub brush and the dish soap. To fix the clacky keys, I removed the old felt that was in the keyboard and replaced it with new felt. I did actually find the joystick parts inside the keyboard. I was thinking that I'd have to order a new joystick online, but all of the pieces were just in parts and they were spread out inside the keyboard. But when I disassembled the keyboard, I found them and was able to put the joystick back together. Also that broken key um, had kind of some shattered parts that were also inside the keyboard when I took it apart. And I was uh, fortunate to be able to locate all those little chips and uh, glue it back together with epoxy. Then I replaced the plastic cover that was over the joystick. Um, that was the one that had some burn marks in it. I couldn't figure out any way to f fix those burn marks, so I bought a salvaged part online from a, a keyboard parts dealer. The floppy drive I replaced, I upgraded it. Instead of putting a floppy drive back in there, I put a floppy drive emulator that takes SD cards instead. It can hold hundreds of cards on one SD card. And then I disassembled the display and removed the insect. I cleaned every button, slider, key, and jack with contact cleaning uh, just to make sure that everything worked as well as looked great. And then I reassembled everything. When I reassembled it, I also put quite a few new screws in. Anytime a screw was visible cosmetically, I replaced it with a new screw. And any time a screw had stripped during disassembly, I replaced it with a new screw. And also I was thinking of that I would calibrate it using the service manual calibration steps, which are quite lengthy. But when I put it all back together and played it, I really liked the sound of it. So I decided I wouldn't mess with it. I was just gonna leave it as it is. And now I've got a great looking, almost good as new, Korg DSS-1. And I look forward to making some new videos for you to show you how it sounds and how I program it.